the granddaddy of Wi-Fi hacking tools, the original, is Aircrack. And Aircrack, I'll just open it up here. Aircrack NG. That's Aircrack NG. Just give it a dash H for a help screen. And it tells me that my help screen is at dash dash help. Okay. I mean, we could spend, you know, once again, a whole class on Aircrack. Right? You can see that it has multiple methods of being able to crack Wi-Fi. This is when the WEP attack first came out in the early part of the 21st century. Yeah, it was widely used for that. So here's some PSK. This would be modern systems, right? Or that usually uh, WPA2. And so this, this tool is great for being able to hack uh, Wi-Fi passwords. You know, one of the things that has happened is that with WPA2, essentially what you're doing is you're trying to guess the password. You're, you're, you're creating a good password list and then using Aircrack or others to crack it. So the first thing Aircrack does is it connects to your system, okay? Let's point out, first of all, to use Aircrack and some of these other Wi-Fi cracking tools, you have to have an Aircrack compliant Wi-Fi adapter, right? And I recommend the Alpha cards. You know, they're, they're, cheap. they're relatively cheap. They work really well. You don't have to have the latest and greatest, so you can go out and buy a used one off eBay or other places, and they're going to work just as well for you because really speed is not the key. To, the speed of the Wi-Fi connection is not going to really make a whole lot of difference. The, the CPU speed is what's going to help you be able to crack the password. So you can go out and buy a cheap one for $10, $15, $20. I think new, they cost $40, $50. And this tool will allow you to be able to uh, at least attempt to crack your passwords, but you have to first have a Wi-Fi, a, a ear crack compliant adapter. If you're using a uh, virtual machine, you're gonna have to have, even though you're using a laptop with a Wi-Fi adapter in it, you're gonna have to go ahead and connect via USB your new air crack compatible adapter. Usually it's going to be an L4 or something. Because even though right now, so for instance, right now I'm connected via Wi-Fi. But for my virtual machine, if I go IWList, which is the, the wireless interface list, okay? Now uh, let's go IWConfig. You see, I go IWConfig, and uh, you can see all the interfaces which I have five of them on the system, but none of them are wireless. But in reality, I am connected via wireless, but that wireless connection, that Wi-Fi connection, is then piped through an ETH connection from my host to my virtual machine. This is not an issue if you're using Kali on bare metal. You're using it as your primary operating system. But in my case here, I'm using... Windows 10 with Kali as a virtual machine. If you're doing that, you're going to need to have an extra Wi-Fi adapter via USB to be able to crack passwords.